Da -da 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 -da. Back from the break. Hope you like that little reveal. <laughs> but, uh, yeah! You might be thinking, oh, why was that cliffhanger there? Well, it's because we have a boss fight. Hello, monk. Hello there. How's it going? You have proven to possess the power of a true hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia. What? Hey, you don't have to move, sir. You can just give me the power. You know, like usual. I offer this final trial. Where are you taking me? No! Oh, ah, uh, huh? Where are we? Is it a blight? No, it's the monk. Let us begin, young one. All right, boss battle time, monk. Monk Kazoa himself. He's going. He's a uh, very nimble for a monk. He knows. He's been around since the you know, time immemorial, so he knows a thing or two about attacking. Uh, he has about three phases in this fight. Yeah, a boss with three phases. This is like the only time this in the game that this happens. And uh, uh, his first phase, he's just gonna blindly attack you like he should, like he normally would. You can basically block his attacks by using parry or De or uh, Daruk's protection. So bear that in mind. But he's, but he's gonna master every ability that the Blight's had in some fashion. So watch out for that. He's super fast, quick, and agile. And it's gonna take every ounce of your weapons to take him down. Oh boy. Ah! He also has a lot of the Yiga clan in him, though, to be honest, too. So, oh, my spear broke. Uh, Sword of Ice. I'm wasting down my weaker weapons in favor of the strong ones in the last portion of these fights. Bear in mind, you can use uh, your Bosa's Fury on him, but I would wait until probably the final phase of the fight before doing so. That's what I would suggest. But parry him, and you can slow him down like nothing else. Alright, here we go. Phase two. He's now going to multiply himself. Now we have to find the real clone. So I can see where uh, Impa's uh, attack pattern in Age of Calamity came from. So yeah, if there's one thing you can do to him, is that uh, you want to probably aim with uh, with a multi-hit bow of some kind, which I don't have, unfortunately. Ow! But all of his clones are going to come out and attack you, so you're just going to have to guess which one works. Oh! Oh, that's another clone. Ah! And you can be a real jerk. Hey, look, I'm just trying to save the land here. Oh, that was him. That's him. Just get pot shots on him. Any chance you get, because clones do reappear. Ah! You need to die. Oh, that's right, him. I'll freeze you to death. You've been around for 10,000 years. I think your time is up, old man. Ooh, duh, duh. 
I've had it, I've had once when I did this DLC once, I actually did run out of weapons. Uh, all my weapons broke except for the Master Sword at this time, but I had that was under recharge. So I actually, I had to do was actually, um, wait until Yubosa's Fury was completely full so that I could actually attack him with, with ease. <laughs> so that actually did me in a little bit, but not by much. Uh... Oh boy. Oh, I thought that was him. He's also going to be using elemental arrows now. All elemental types. No bomb arrows because it's actually raining. I think he planned for this weather to be like this. Where's the last one? There he is. Hey, you. Let's go, you. Come on, you. Oh, I could have frozen and got some hits in. Oh, here we go. Ow. Yeah, you're going to have to run a little bit and then take out uh, his clones after they drop. All right, there goes my frost blade. Flame spear! All right, come on. So just keep running. Oh, boy. Now he's going to try to mimic all three of his attacks he's done. So he's got arrows, he's got people that will dash into you and everything. So watch out for that. Ow! Loop! And I do believe you can fall off this platform, which is not a no-no. A oh, that was him. Oh, I could have frozen. Why did I? Don't do that. Oh, he's going to run at us, so keep running. Oh, ow! And this guy is really out for blood. <laughs> I'm just here to teach and tell them how to train the hero. I think you're out for more than just that, Monkazoa. Goodness me! <sighs> Probably him. There he is. Got him. Oh boy! Yeah, he ain't going anywhere. You were able to jump that way? Goodness me. Ooh. Oh, takes out his clones. Ah. Even after you after you find him out, you have a little bit of time to actually hit him. And there we go. If his health doesn't go down after hitting him, that means his final phase is into, a, into an effect. He's now going to make himself a lot easier to hit, but also make himself ten times bigger. Goodness me! Alright, you're going down. Monkazoa. Alright, I don't mind using better weapons for this. See, so hit him, shock him like that, gets him down. So use that to your advantage. I wish I could, you know, find him. Come on, you. Ah. You're gonna use that, aren't you? Ancient laser beams. Okay, if you're not gonna do that, I'm gonna use electrical... ...on you as well. Woo! Where'd he go? I thought he'd slam himself right there, but you didn't... Are you always beating the... Oh, no you don't. You're not messing around with me. His health isn't going down by doing that, though. Which is annoying. You stop doing that. Ugh. Oh, I'm not liking you. I don't remember him actually doing this. Rotating the platform the way it's doing? I don't remember this at all. Hey, how about a little shockwave? Yeah, how about you go down a little bit? Hit him down, hit him down. Oh, you. What are you gonna do, huh? 
Yeah, how about that, M apples? Uh, now I gotta wait for Bosa's Fury to recharge. This is what I mean by it. Most of the attacks you hit him don't do anything to him. So arrows, not much. The root protection is now ready to roll. There we go. And we got a follow. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Oh, now he's got his bombs. Ow. Ow. How about you activate this a little bit yourself, buddy? Leave one of the one of the mill spheres right into him and hit him hard. Booyah! Well, he didn't he didn't see that coming, now did ya? Take you down! Oh, he's getting back up. I'll get to all. I'll get to any uh, Twitch follows in a minute. If I can just get around him. Oh boy! Now he's gonna have small copies of himself. Oh, I'm about to die. I don't want to use Mephisto's Grace on this. No, I have food. I have food. I have food. There we go. I will use this blade. Ow! He's going down. Booyah! I bested your final trial, Monk Mugazoa. Now give me my ultimate reward. That went a lot smoother than last time. And again, this is like my, I think my only second attempt at the DLC on top of my original file. <sighs> that went a lot smoother than I thought. <laughs> that went a lot smoother than I thought. I see Zoron. Zoron in Twitch chat for the follow. Thank you very much. You faced the challenge with great courage. You have now erased all doubt from my mind. You are a true hero. What? Did the 120 shrines and the other monks not tell you that? As such, you were destined to take hold of the ancient masterpiece. Oh, here we go, our ultimate reward, folks. We get our divine beast. Oh, we're so excited, aren't we? Dun -dun. This is such an epic moment because you just see this thing like turning all over the place. And you see this big old divine beast you're like, dude, I get to I get to pilot that? I'm like sweet! Look at this thing! Look how big this thing is! <laughs> But it's all I think it's all for show though. It's a mechanical horse. And now we get to distill it inside of our Sheikah slate. Distilling rune. We dissolve a divine beast into a rune. We craft our new room for us. Oh, that is sweetness. Our final rune of the game, folks. The Master Cycle Zero. Insert, some of the Master Cycle Zero. Insert materials into the tank to convert into fuel. You can freely call upon this item, but summing it will not work in certain areas. Those areas, the Death Mountain, and the Gerudo Desert. Anywhere else, this master cycle can be summoned anywhere. But it's because again, the master cycle zero mimics the rules of a horse. 
That which we have obtained is a masterpiece of an innovation created by the for the one true hero. Hero of Hyrule, may the goddess smile upon you. <sighs> hey, can I keep this platform? Just fly me right into Ganon, please! Oh, man. Okay, it's all for show. Also, this platform disappears after after this. Another cutscene taken out. I'm back on the Great Plateau, and there's Cass. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's you. Mm. I can't put my feather on it, but I get the feeling you'd be more accomplished than you were when we last met. I happen to have the perfect song for someone as esteemed as you. I would love to sing it for you. My teacher's unfinished song, the one I told you about. Ooh. I finally completed the key verses. Oh, mm. really? Sweet! This lofty location is the perfect stage to sing this special song. It takes place 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. Yes, the very castle that you can still see over yonder. It's about the magnificent inauguration of the chosen champions. If you would, please listen to this special song. The Champions Ballad. And we get our final memory. <gasps> Welcome, warriors. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today and for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's champions and bestow upon you this sacred garb. That blue is a symbol of the royal family, one that has been passed down for countless generations. Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter Zelda. Zelda, I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess, and together protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. Those formal shindigs really take it out of me. Hmm. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. The princess showed me something strange recently. Somehow it can create true-to-life images. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, Princess, may I ask a special favor of you? All right, this spot should work nicely. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone. Uh, Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Huh? Oh. What's with the glum face, princess? Give me a big smile. Huh? <sighs> Ravali, move your tail closer to the group. <sighs> Fine. Mifa, you look so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. <sighs> Stay just like that. Here we go. Smile. Click snap.
Ugh. Mm. After the ceremony, they would all be forever known as champions. My teacher always advised me to write songs that transport the listener to the moment in time we were singing of. Mm. Now I finally feel I understand what he meant, and the true power of music. Mm. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. I was thinking, you should be the one to keep it. Mm. Your courageous heart reminds me of the inimitable spirit of the champions. I know you'll treasure it. We get the picture of the champions, a picture of Zelda and the five champions taken after the inauguration ceremony at Hyrule Castle. Cass gives it to you this precious item after completing the champions' ballad. It's a, such a, a great view, isn't it, Cass? Been all over Hyrule for this adventure. A final thought. May the souls of the champions who watch over Hyrule rest in peace. Link. Link. Zelda! Link. I have watched your journey. Every step. You have overcome every challenge with great courage. Well, not all of them. With I still have to save the world, you, you know. Attained. I am certain you can defeat Calamity Ganon. Yes, I can, Princess. I'll be there soon. I have a few things to clear up first, though. We have a few things to clear up first. And that completes the Champion's Ballad. That's it for it. But we still need to finish the... Oh, yeah, there's the Master Cycle Zero. How about we give this thing a test run by getting very close... But first, before we give it a test run... Let's warm up over here and pause that picture at our house, shall we? Let's go there now. <laughs> 